Puffin Peter by Petra Haracek. What happens when Peter's best friend Paul goes missing? He goes to the ends of the earth to find him, of course. Peter and Paul were the best of friends. Paul made Peter laugh by being funny and noisy. They spent their days happily fishing around their rocky island. One day, while they were out diving, a storm blew. A big, big storm. Peter was lost. He was blown far out to sea. At last the storm was over. Where am I? said Peter. He opened his eyes. And where's Paul? Hello, said the kind whale. Are you lost? Yes, said Peter, and I've lost my best friend Paul. What's he like? said the whale. Oh, Paul is funny and noisy. Can you help me find him? Funny and noisy? I know just where to look, said the whale, and they set off together. Here we are, said the whale, as they arrived on a small island. Which one is Paul? The birds were funny and noisy, but they were nothing like Paul. Paul is not a parrot, said Peter. Paul's feathers are black and white. Funny, noisy and black and white? said the whale. I know just where to look. And off they set. Here we are. It's rather cold. The birds were funny, noisy and black and white. But they were nothing like Paul. Paul's not a penguin, said Peter. Paul's beak is very colourful. Funny, noisy, black and white, with a colourful beak, said the whale. I know exactly where to look. And they set off again. The bird on the island was funny, noisy, black and white, with a colourful beak. But he wasn't Paul. Paul's not a toucan, said Peter. We are never going to find him. Peter was very sad. The whale didn't know where else to look, so they drifted across the ocean. After a few days, some tiny islands appeared on the horizon. Peter was too sad to look as he drifted towards them. Look, said the whale, what's that? It was black and white with a colourful beak. It was funny and noisy. It was Paul. Peter was overjoyed. So this is Paul, cried the whale. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? said Peter. The whale smiled. But he's a puffin, just like you.